Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking stroke effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is we need to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine at 10 seconds. So I'm just going to press OK. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here and create a new uh, background layer. So I'm just going to call it BG. Don't worry about the color because we need to come over to our effects and presets and we need to search for the gradient ramp effect. Dump that on by double clicking it and then we can go to color hunt to change our colors. So here I am in color hunt. So I know that I want these two colors for my gradient. So all I need to do is just click on that, take it back to After Effects and then import them into After Effects. So once you've got your two colors and you've just pasted the hex value in there, you can come over here and you can change the end of the ramp to, you know, give you different kind of looks for your gradient. Once you're happy with that, you can come over here and create a new text layer. Now the font that I'm using I'm using uh, this font called Vajala 1 and what I'm doing here is I'm changing the fill to none and I'm putting a stroke color to whatever because we can change that later and then the stroke width I'm going to change to roughly around 8 pixels. So if you want to move some of the writing closer together you can have a play around with some of these settings and then the next thing that we need to do is we need to align that to the middle of our document. So with that layer selected what you need to do is you need to hold control and double click the pan behind tool to move the anchor point to the uh, middle and then we can come over here to align and just align it on the horizontal and the vertical alignment now once you're happy with that we can move on to the next step so the next step is to come over here and then uh, right click and go to create shapes from text now if you want to change your color or anything like that uh, you can change your stroke by just clicking up here and changing it to whatever color that you want now I'm gonna get the color from color hunt so I'm gonna go back to color hunt and then paste it in there so once you've got your color, just double click this and then paste your value in there and there we go. We know that all the colors match nicely. Cool. So now what we need to do is now when we open up the contents of this uh, stroke outline, you can see every letter is now separated and that's pretty cool. But what we want to do is we want to add a trim path. So we need to click on this add and then if we go to trim path, then we can now start to play around with some of the trim paths. So the two things that we are going to worry about is end and offset. So if I just scrub through the end, you can see what actually happens. So if you just want an animation that just starts from zero and gradually builds up, you can do it like that. But what we are going to do is I'm just going to click the stopwatch on offset. I'm going to start it there at zero and then I'm going to move forward to the end of my composition. So at around 10 seconds and then just change that to five revolutions. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on that and then go to easy ease. And so now if I scrub through that, nothing happens. But once we do the next part of the animation, you'll see what it actually does. So for this next part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm going to click the stopwatch on end at 100% and I'm just going to uh, move that to zero all right and then I'm going to move forward in time to about four seconds and I'm just going to bring that up to let's say 99% and then I'm going to do the same on the other side I'm going to click to drop another 99% keyframe over there and then I'm going to bring it back down to zero on the other side so now if you've done that correctly, you can see here that it starts to build up and it gets to that 99% point where the offset and everything is making the, the little lines in there very, very uh, small. And then it goes back the other way and it kind of uh, evaporates out. So to make that look even nicer, what we need to do is highlight all those keyframes right click and make sure that they are easy ease keyframes and so now it slowly comes in you know it goes really really fast for a little bit of time and then it starts to pull itself apart so if you want to come and make sure that all those frames are highlighted come into the graph editor make sure that you are on speed graph you can have a play around with some of these settings so all i'm doing is i'm just 
having a smaller peak in the middle. Now, this is an optional step, you don't really need to do this, but this will help your animation have some kind of acceleration. So it starts off a bit slower, and then it goes, you know, fairly fast, and then it comes back down again. So that's pretty cool. The final thing that we can add to this uh, stroke outline is the opacity. So I'm just pressing T for opacity, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the stopwatch, make sure that it's zero, move forward in time, let's say one second, and then bring it back up to 100. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat that process again on the other side. So that's at 100 and then move it down to zero on the other side. I'm going to highlight all those keyframes, right click, go to easy ease. And then if we preview that, now you can see that it fades in at that section there. It goes from zero to 100% uh, percent opacity and then it fades out and that's looking pretty cool. So anyways guys, that's a very quick tutorial on how to do a cool stroke outline effect using Adobe After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you learned something, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.